Okay, today we are setting lighting for this scene. It's a product shot for the saw. I will guide you through my process. Let's add the first light. Okay, we instantly see that we don't need this harsh reflection on the glass because we won't be able to see the inside parts of the watches. So let's try to find some interesting position to highlight maybe contours of the watches. And uh, yeah, let's increase the size to get maybe a bit more smooth lighting. Let's add a gradient because I don't want to have harsh edges on the ring. It's the most glossy part and I want my lighting to be feathered as much as possible because we will be able to perceive the glossiness of the watches anyway. So, okay, something like that. I think that works quite well. Maybe change the position of the gradient a bit. Okay, looks pretty balanced to me. Okay, let's add second light. Hmm, I don't want this reflection, maybe we should move it a little bit here, okay, okay, okay. I like how the body of the watches is highlighted, but I don't like this uh, harsh reflection and uh, hard edge on the ring, so we will just slightly reposition the light. Okay, we are getting this reflection anyway, so but we still need to highlight the body, so maybe let's try to position it from the top. Okay, I found the position that I like, but I don't like this very obvious reflection, so I will slightly move the light a little bit to the side using orbit mode. And okay, yes, let's isolate the light to see its effect in isolation. Okay, let's smoothen the gradient. Something like that. Okay, let's bring back our first light to see yeah, if it works, okay, it works. I think it works. Let's add another light. Uh, what I want to do here is to bring more attention to the inner parts of the watches. In order to achieve that, I will narrow the spread and uh, make my light very tiny to protect this beam of light. The only thing is that we need to drastically decrease the brightness. And add feathering in order to our light not hit the body of the washes, only the inner parts. Okay, I think it will work just fine. The only thing is that uh, it will take time for cycles to render all these inner parts so I just know it will work fine in the final render so let's proceed with our lighting okay I think I found quite quite good position the only thing is that I don't like that we have our hand affect by the light so let's use light linking to prevent light from hitting the hand Okay, I think we have to create a flag to prevent light from illuminating uh, the whole part of the watch. A 
Okay, let's add one more light to highlight a little bit of uh, hands silhouette. Not too much, let's decrease the brightness because we don't need this hand to be obviously mm, recognizable. Let's keep it on the abstract side. Okay. I like the position, but I don't like how much space it takes. So, first of all, let's uh, let's exclude our watches from the slide and uh, decrease brightness and also decrease the spread in order to get uh, more shallow highlight. Okay, the next thing is that I want this part of the watches to be a little bit uh, more pronounced, but obviously the hand is obstructing the light, so we just exclude it from the objects that are affected by this light and from the objects that produce shadows in general, so something like that. Okay, I think we got our setup just right. What do you think, guys? I think it works quite well. So, yeah, uh, I hope you like this uh, quick tutorial and I hope you recognized how intuitive uh, the Light Wrangler is. And if you're interested in, please consider buying this add-on. I think it will serve a great service to you and, uh, and your support also helps me to faster improve their done and develop even more nice features. So yeah, see you in the next one guys.